Hey guys, I'm Elite Series Pro Keith Combs, and I want to talk to you guys about uh, some of the things that I do when I'm fishing real heavy cover or fishing for real big bass in heavy cover. Um, kind of want to talk about some of the lines and some of the baits that I use and when I would use those baits. The first one is probably the most universal type of uh, heavy cover bait, and this is actually a, a really good color, black and blue Strike King Rodent. Um, this can be used in a variety of situations, you know, from flipping, you know, heavy wood to, uh, to flipping grass mats. And um, for most of my fishing with this, I'm using one of two lines, uh, 60 pound Kanzen if the cover is really thick, or I'm using uh, 25 pound Seaguar Brazevex. And um, the biggest consideration for me when choosing one line over the other is you know, can I get the fish out with the uh, with the Abrazex or is the cover just too extreme and I need to go to the braid? So those are the considerations. I feel like I'm going to get more bites using the fluorocarbon because it's invisible in the water. But, uh, you know, if I feel like I'm going to have trouble getting that fish out, then I'm going to go to the uh, to the Kanzen. And uh, so we'll, we'll talk mostly about the Kanzen because it is what I pick up most of the time when I'm flipping. And one of the things that that I was very pleased with when I first used this line is uh, you know not only is it strong and has superior knot strength uh, this is something that I haven't saw in a lot of other braids this stuff is very smooth and uh, the reason that I really like that is when you're flipping into say a heavy you know a heavy grass mat and you've got hyacinths or laid over reeds or something like that on the water your line is is making a noise a lot of times. If you have a, a braid that has a, a really kind of loose woven texture to it, when you lift up, you can actually hear the vibration of that line. And, you know, I don't like that. I want to be as stealthy as possible because a lot of times you're very close to those fish. So a slick line uh, is very, very good for keeping that stealthy presentation. And it's also, you know, a lot more sensitive. The smoother it is, the smoother it's going to lift the better you're going to feel what your bait is doing under the water. So that's one really good application and something else that really goes, you know, hand in hand with a lot of times when I'm flipping real heavy stuff is uh, frogging. And this is a, uh, this is a Strike King KVD hollow, be hollow belly, hollow body frog. And uh, I've really learned a lot about it. I've been forced to learn about it in the last five years um, because it's just such an effective, you know, tournament bait. For most of my frogging, I'm using, again, the 60-pound Kanzen. Uh, I like this line. Not only is it, is it strong, but just because it's smooth, I can make a super long cast. And a lot of times, that's when I pick up the frog. It's when I see something that I can't get to, or I'm going to have to make a lot of noise getting to with my boat, then I'll pick up the frog, the 60-pound Kanzen, and make a long bomb cast. And a lot of times, what I'm looking for is just something, something isolated, um, you know, back in a mat, a hole, or maybe some kind of wood, something different in that mat to uh, to make a bass position there. And I'll make multiple casts too, a lot of times. But you know, the hollow body frog is a good choice because it's got stout hooks. You can once you get the fish hooked up, you can get him out of there. And um, this line is a good choice too because a lot of times you may pull into a mat, flip it a little bit see several spots that look like they need to be frogged uh, with a line that's you know super castable super smooth you can make those casts accurately and you don't have to worry about distance so those are two of uh, you know two of the real heavy cover presentations they work most all times of the year you know even even pre-spawn when it's cold you know give a frog a shot it's not too cold it's a slow presentation they will come up and get it even when the water's in the 50s but uh, those are the two line choices I got most of the time, 25 pound of Brazex or 60 pound Seaguar Constant. That'll always get the job done for you.